So this is the Cooler Master Mastercase Maker 5T. Wow, they couldn't make the name any longer. Actually, T stands for Turbo because the top portion of the case is sports car inspired, or so we were told at CES. But regardless, the 5T is well balanced in the design department with a familiar but refreshed Cooler Master character, one that will haunt your wallet at $250. So let's see if it's worth it after this. Introducing the new OCZ VX500 solid state drives from Toshiba. It offers great, well balanced speeds built with MLC NAND flash for superior endurance and is also backed by a 5 year advanced warranty program. Learn more about the VX500 at OCZ.com. Now on the surface this might appear as a luxury mid-tower, but I'm feeling optimistic on many features found on the 5T to percolate into the lower tier cases, in particular the tempered glass side panel mounts that is by far the best we've seen yet. So instead of using thumb screws on four corners like we normally see, we have a key lock mechanism centered at the top that makes handling simple and safe, especially with that extra step that catches the panel and uh, then it must be lifted for removal. My only concern is where to start the keys I would have appreciated maybe like a little compartment somewhere on that angled front panel uh, but you could store them below the handle or hang them on one of the thumb screws for the power supply bracket the handle on the 5t makes me want to see more handles on cases in general it is securely attached to the frame and slightly rubberized and beautifully integrated into the design so it's low profile and doesn't impact your top cooling options and I love the toolless approach to all panels on the exterior you can remove the small piece at the back to gain additional ventilation if your exhaust is heavy, which has a dust filter. Plus you can simply lift the top plastic panel off to gain access for the top fan bracket and here you would need to remove the handle first in order to gain access to that fan bracket. It supports dual 140 and 120 mm fans with their respective radiators and I just wish that Cooler Master would offset the mount a little bit closer to the side panel because I don't care about top symmetry and any additional clearance off the motherboard would be nice. The front panel follows a similar toolless approach uh, with an extra angular position that looks odd but it's meant to open up the front intake for more airflow and have enough space for optical drive ejection or close up that front intake to minimize noise while the panel behind it it's quite open ventilation wise with a built-in dust filter. Dual 140 mm fans are included here and you can remove the 5 and quarter inch drive base system to open up this uh, area for triple 120 or 140 mm fans uh, although 280 mm is the maximum radiator support at the front. The I.O. includes four USB 3.0 with dual 19 pin connectors, so make sure that your motherboard can support it. Then there's the audio jacks, PR buttons, a button for speed fan control with low or high setting with the hub located at the rear and it can house six three pin fans. And finally, there's an LED button for breathing effect or on off switch for the included red LED strip on the inside. And it gives off this beautiful soft light, plus it's magnetic, so you can move it around the case, but it's non-RGB and no additional strips included at such a high price. And what I find interesting with the 5T is this sort of lockdown on the color option with red only accents. Don't get me wrong, the interior is beautifully colored and maybe encourages to follow a particular color scheme, but at this price I'd expect some flexibility with LED strips in particular, and to me it's a bit odd to see their own product line not satisfying the RGB movement. And NZ NZXT is the only company that currently offers the best choice when it comes to color on several cases, something that I'd want to see more of from the competition. The layout of the interior, however, is identical to their Maker 5 family, with a dust filter for the power supply, a bottom secure PCI slot to lock down your peripherals, and a 140mm exhaust fan. The basement is open, and here you see the drive cage that can be moved into three different positions to clear more room at the front, giving you a maximum of uh, three inches to work with. And because of this open nature of the bottom chamber, cables from your power supply will be visible, which on other master case models is fine because the panel would cover it, so why not include a basement cover for the 5T only or have a blackout section on the bottom of the glass panel? That would be nice to conceal this compartment. There are dual SSD caddies below the motherboard with their SSDs either being mounted on top or the inside of the caddy like I have here, and the 5T is is the only case that comes with a GPU support bracket with two clips to prevent GPU sag. No additional drive cages are included, which is an odd 
the mission for the highest tier master case, further maybe reducing the target audience for the 5T. Now I do appreciate the extra value added elements on this model, like the magnetic toolbox, but ironically, you actually cannot attach it anywhere on the 5T because there is no exposed metal surface. The rear of the case doesn't come with any additional SSD caddies, although you can move them from the interior. And I find that the deep channel is handy for smaller cables for cable management uh, with the Velcro straps and cable tie hoops all in the right spaces to secure the rest of your cables. You just have to be mindful of that see-through nature of the bottom chamber and work on your cables accordingly. So who is this case for? I feel like this model exists to bring more attention to the lower tier versions like the $100 Master Case 5 or the $150 Maker 5 that is pretty much identical to the 5T. And Cooler Master should also recognize that tempered glass is a very popular trend, but having such a large price premium is a very good incentive for consumers to explore competing options. However, the 5T should also serve as an example of excellent features that need to be more present in 2017, like the clever side panel mount, easy to use exterior panels, and that full ecosystem development for modularity, plus a well-integrated handle. Oh, hey there. NCX.com is Canada's leading e-tailer for anything your mind desires. Just keep within those categories, which are plenty, and get tempted by the weekly deals. Visit NCX.com for all them sweet deals. And so the 5T is awesome, but at $250, again, coming back to that price point, it's so uncompetitive with a color lockdown, only a single LED strip included uh, and limited storage capacity. So let me know what you think of the red color scheme in particular, and if this feels to you like the highest tier master case lineup. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm Dimitri with Hyrule Canucks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.